good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving into some aew action figure news slash some stuff that i think we might see if you guys did not know if you guys aren't on twitter if you're not around the aew figure verse over there jeremy padauer the you know the, the 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 big man on campus the head of the aew action figures that we get over at jazzwares he tweeted out anyone up for some aew reveals at FanFest hashtag aew at AEW and so if you guys did not know this weekend is double or nothing they're having like a fan fest or something like that I think on Saturday which would be the day before the event it's going to be at like 11 a.m. or something like that and they're going to be apparently revealing new AEW action figures so this is absolutely huge news I will be covering the event I'll cover the photos it will all be right here guys so make sure your bell is on be sure to like and comment and all that so you stay up to date and you will be able to see the brand new figures once they are revealed I will do a full video on the event everything we saw everything we're gonna get everything I'll cover it right here on the channel I don't know if I'm gonna review double or nothing or just yet I'm trying to still figure that out and you know understand exactly what I want to do all of those different things still trying to work through those you know uh, all the ins and outs of that so we'll see about that if not I may do it like the day later or a day or two after the event or something like that so we'll see we'll break it down but in this video today guys I want to cover some figures that I think we may be getting at uh, at this fan fest or what figures that I think we might see at this fan fest and I think you guys will agree with some maybe you know you have your own ideas or maybe you have your own sleepers and stuff like that the one thing that I'm really hoping for is an epic playset or something like that like a vehicle or something really awesome maybe we'll see that four pack you know that four pack that we you know that we leaked out or that we saw that was leaked out the photos of that four pack apparently that is like legit like that is coming so maybe that will be revealed to us I'm sure and I, I'm sure we'll probably get another pair of bucks or like a Kenny Omega or something like that I'm sure we'll get something like that but I did break down a full list here of figures that I think we might see. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that list. You guys let me know what you guys think down below. And also let me know some figures that you would like to see. Not just what you think we'll see, but some figures you want to see. So I think I have a little bit of both here. I got some stuff that I for sure think we'll see. And then I have some figures that I, I want as well. Some of these are kind of mixed in together. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first figure that I think we might see is going to be Marco Stunt. I think Marco Stunt, you know, a lot of people were disappointed that we didn't get a Marco Stunt in Series 5 and you know we we didn't get it in series six we didn't get it in the ringside exclusive pack i'm sure that we're going to get some sort of marco stunt whether it be in the unmatched series whether it be in the unrival collection i'm pretty sure we will be seeing a marco stunt eventually and i would see it happening here you know a lot of people were bummed out that we didn't get that to begin with so i'm sure that a lot of people will do that another thing that i think is kind of mixed in here i think some of these figures that i think we're going to get could be unmatched figures. I, I full on plan to see at least prototypes of unmatched series one, maybe. I think that could be a thing. Or maybe they're already done. Maybe they'll have like the, you know, the prototypes like fully colored and all that completely on display. So we will have to see, but I think unmatched series one is also a thing that we could see. Moving on over, guys, we also have Brody Lee. I think everyone and their mother want to get a Brody Lee figure. I think that will be announced. I don't know if it'll be an exclusive. I don't know if it'll be just, you know, in the regular line. I don't know, but I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like 98% sure we will see a Brody Lee or get a Brody Lee figure of some kind. It'll probably come with a TNT Championship, and it should be very epic. I cannot wait to add him to the collection. See what he's like up next to our Luke Harper Elite figures. God rest his soul. What a great talent. Can't wait to see what his figure looks like, and hopefully it's in good proportions and not too oversized, and it just fits right into our AEW figure collection. So we will have to see, but that is one figure that I really, really, really want to see on display and see out there. So Brody Lee is absolutely on my list had to put him on there and the next figure I think a lot of people like it's become a meme at this point right like everybody is wanting a Britt Baker we want to see a Britt Baker I know we got like the render image forever ago right it was like a teaser like of her forehead or a face or something like that and I think that's I mean that's pretty much just it, it's got to be a given right it's a meme it's a whole thing it's got to be a Britt Baker there's got to be a Britt Baker on display or or something they gotta confirm it it'll be all over the internet like twitter even like regular not like non-figure fans have kind of just bought into this meme nowadays and they tease it and it's in promos i mean it's like become a whole big thing so Britt baker has to have a figure absolutely and i think she's in unmatched series one so if they unveil unmatched series one then she will be a given she'll be one of those figures there so Britt baker is one of those figures that i think will also be up next up guys is going to be brian cage i think brian cage is another one that you know a lot of people have been wanting i feel like for some reason him and Brody lee will be in series seven like they'll be announced for series seven i could also see maybe miro being a part of that 
And so, uh, a part of Unrivaled Collection Series 7, I think Brian Cage and Brody Lee will both be in there. I think Brian Cage is another guy that a lot of people want. And speaking of which, the next guy on my list is Miro. I know I quickly, you know, I briefly mentioned him just then, but I think Miro, I think I saw like a like a prototype photo of like his him yelling and it's like a full figure. If I can find that image somewhere, I will plug it here in the video. I hope I still have that because it was, it's clear as day, an AEW unrivaled Miro figure. So it's safe to say he'll either be in the early unmatched series, like either Series 1, or he'll probably be in Series 7 of the Unrivaled Collection. So we'll just have to see about that. But Miro is, and Brian Cage are both figures that I want to see. And so that is something that I could also see. Next up is going to be Sting. Now Sting could be in so many different varieties, man. Apparently, when you sign with a company, you can make flashback figures and current figures. Like, no matter what the look is or what company Sting worked for, you can make a figure of him in that if, you know, he's signed to your company. So if that is the case... We don't know what we could get. We could get a current day Sting. We could get WCW Sting. We may be able to get some WWE Stings. I don't know the full extent of that, but apparently that is a thing. So Sting could be a figure that we see. And I think, you know, it'd be dumb not to because he's a big market item. He's kind of like a Hulk Hogan, right? You, you know, you want to plug him in there. He will sell like hot cakes and sausage. You got to put him in there. So Sting is another name that I think will be on there. And another one, guys, is going to be Lance Archer. I want to say, I think he was rumored for like Series 5 or 6 and he didn't make it. Maybe because of his tattoos, maybe because of his crazy hair, maybe because of the size, maybe a combination of all three. Like Luchasaurus, I think, was supposed to be in Series 3. He got pushed back. Maybe the same thing is going to be for Lance Archer. You know, he's, he's a big dude. He's got all the stuff going on, and Lance Archer would be a really good, you know, piece there. So Lance Archer, I think, will be on display or something. I think that's a really good thing. And then uh, I do have a tag team here. I mean, I got a couple tag teams, but the one that I really think we'll see is Dark Order, because how are you going to have Brody Lee without the Dark Order? You've got to have a few members of Dark Order. Maybe they'll do a big pack. I don't know, but I know that there are some members of, over others that they could make, but I think that Dark Order is absolutely got to be made and on top of Dark Order, I feel like Private Party. Like, where's our Private Party? I could see them getting made. And again, when we get the Unmatched Series figures in here, I feel like more of those tag teams will trickle out and stuff like that. But Dark Order is, you know, one of those teams and Private Party that I could see happening. And, and or finishing that up, we got to complete some of these teams. Like Christopher Daniels. You got to complete your SCU. I think Christopher Daniels is a really good figure that we could see. I know that they would nail him. Hopefully his head's not oversized or something. Another guy that we could fill out some tag teams with. If you wanted to put him with Moxley, you could do Eddie Kingston, another figure that I could see us possibly seeing, and I don't know if they're going to just show us renders, or if they're going to show us actual prototypes, or if they're actually going to show us things and all these different things, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know what their plans are or anything like that, but Eddie Kingston could be one, Christopher Daniels is another one, and I also think that we could see Wardlow, you know, Wardlow is another guy that's been out for a while, or he's been on the main roster, not the main roster, you know what I mean, he's been on TV for a while now, like, we, we haven't got a suited figure or anything, I think he'd be a good suited body to have in the collection, He's been there for a while. I don't know how we haven't gotten him yet. And then we have Sean Spears to round everything out. So Sean Spears is another one that I could see. And he's another one that's been around for a very long time that I still don't know how we don't have a figure of him. So it should be interesting. You know, like I know that probably, again, you have all these names that I listed, but you also have Kenny Omega. You have John Moxley. You have Adam Hangman Page. You got the Young Bucks. You got Chris Jericho. You got Cody Rhodes. So I am willing to bet that those guys will be trickled in there with the rest of these names, maybe some renders and stuff like that. Again, I don't know what their full plan is. I don't know what or how they're going to do things or if they're going to have a panel. I don't know any of those things. So I'm guessing that it'll just be a nice display with maybe some figures we've already gotten as well as some figures that we have not quite seen yet. So that should be interesting for sure. But yes, I, I think this is a good list of AEW figures, man. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like my list? Do you have your own list? If you have your own list of figures, what is your main want? What is like one figure? If you could pick one to three figures, who would you absolutely want? I think if I could pick three, a top three that I want to see or that I want in my collection, I would go Brody Lee. I would go Sting because I really want to see how they, you know, how they make him and stuff like that. And then, last but not least, I think I, I want to I wanna say I'd go Miro, I think. I think I want to see a Miro figure. Yeah, I think that's my top three. I think if I had to make a top three, it'd be Brody Lee, Sting, and uh, Miro, I think. I think, you know, because, I mean, uh, pretty much everybody else has been made, I think, that I would want. So, I don't know. I'm pretty good with that. Besides maybe an Orange Cassidy without the pocket mold, you could have it where the legs are actually molded and he can move around more than his current figure. That's another one. But I think that does it for today's video, guys. Fan Fest, AEW Double or Nothing. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, the no kick pad rotation. Don't show me a single figure without kick pad rotation, Brad.
Don't do it.